Good evening, Ram fans, and welcome to another edition of the Fleming's Prime Steakhouse and Wine Bar, What's at Stake, along with Chris Kowalczyk, who writes for the Around the Horns blog on vcuathletics.com. I'm Robbie Robinson. Well, Chris, the Rams are off to a 2-0 start, got a really good win against Toledo on Tuesday night in the first Progressive Legends Classic game. And now the University of Maryland Eastern Shore Hawks come to town for another part of this Progressive Legends Classic. What's at stake for the Rams as they sit at 2-0 with two very good wins on their docket, taking on the Hawks? Yeah, Robbie, this is an opportunity for the Rams to prove that they're a team that can lock in on one task at a time and not look ahead. You look at this matchup on paper, and it's going to look kind of lopsided. Maryland Eastern Shore is kind of in a rebuilding mode. And on paper, the Rams look to be a heavy favorite. But a lot of people are going to expect the Rams to look ahead to Villanova. They need to lock in, and they're going to have that, you know, the Hawks are going to come in playing with nothing to lose. So the Rams need to kind of lock in on this one task at a time and, and take care of business. So if you're the Hawks, you have to go against Briante Weber. They're playing their third game in four days. They played Villanova on the 17th, Mount St. Mary's last night, and then tonight against VCU. I would have to think that Briante Weber could have himself a little bit of a field day if he is locked in as you speak. Yeah, he's got to be salivating right now. I mean, just, just looking at that and looking at the fact that, that Maryland Eastern Shores turned the ball over 30% of the time in their first two games. Um, it's it's going to be a Herculean challenge mm -hmm. for Maryland Eastern Shore, and, I, and I'm sure they know that. Um, and they should probably come in, play loose and free. They'll have to use their, their bench. They'll probably be a little bit fatigued. But for VCU, this is a real opportunity to really kind of uh, sink their teeth in and kind of go after a team that's, that's going to be coming in maybe a little tired. Yeah, keep in mind, even though Maryland Eastern Shore has played three games in four days, the Rams expended a lot of energy in that Toledo game the other night. Oh, they absolutely did. That was a March quality mm -hmm type of game that had a a NCAA tournament almost type of feel a tournament type of feel the Rams you know they had to give everything for that and you know they came out on top but they did expend a lot of energy all right he's Chris Kowalczyk I'm Robbie Robinson this has been a Fleming's prime steakhouse and wine bar what's at stake hope everybody enjoys the game